Print email Facebook Twitter more guide dog puppies changing lives in youth detention amid desperate need for trainers young men detained for assault, theft and drug offenses are training guide dogs in a program they say has changed their lives, they are doing such a good job, guide dogs New South Wales wants to put more puppies behind bars, in an effort to slash the six month wait for vision impaired people who need a guide dog. Two six month old puppies, Ziggy and Zephyr have been raised at the Frank Baxter Juvenile Detention Center at Carrion, on the NSW Central Coast. The dogs are each assigned two inmates to care for them, 24 hours a day, 5 days a week. Inmates take the dogs with them to classes inside the center and take part in a rigorous training program. 17-year-old Connor, names have been changed for legal reasons, said it felt good to give back to the community. A blind person's going to get this dog, he said. It makes me feel proud in myself because I'm training this dog for a good reason. Puppy Development Advisor for Guide Dogs NSW Kerry Chauncey said some of the offenders had never owned a dog, but they were faring well. Every instruction that I give them they follow to a T, she said. They ask lots of questions. I couldn't have asked for a better start to the program. But, puppies being puppies, it was difficult to conduct an interview without interruption. Chauncey, it's good to see the relationship between the pups and the young men. Ziggy the Labrador, barking Chauncey, laughs, shush. The fact that they call me miss is a bit unnerving but I'm getting used to that. They're just really accommodating, really friendly. Ziggy, barking Chauncey, oi, that's enough. Guide Dogs in Desperate Need of More Trainers Guide Dogs Services Manager Paul Adrian said 25 people were waiting for guide dogs in NSW alone, and this program would help reduce the waiting list. We're in desperate need of more people to raise these beautiful Labradors, from 8 weeks of age up until 12 months, he said and it's becoming increasingly difficult to bring families in. So the opportunity to work with centers such as this to raise our puppies was exciting. We're really impressed with the way the boys are working with the dogs and the professionalism of the staff here. We're ready to expand and hopefully in the next few weeks we'll be able to bring a few more puppies up to join the program. And aside from chewing the odd shoe, it seems the puppies have brought a lot of joy to their carer. They make your day, said 19-year-old Miles. Zephyr's like my best mate, they're happy, playful and always hungry. The woman in charge at the detention center, Crosby Knight, said the program teaches detainees responsibility and empathy. It really softens them and changes the way they interact with others, with our staff here, with each other and definitely with the pups, she said. Guide Dogs NSW said 60 dogs should graduate next year but it was hoping to increase that figure to 100 in the next few years. Only one in four people who are eligible for a guide dog actually have one, Mr. Adrian said. So the opportunity to expand and meet that unmet demand in the future is huge, it's very ambitious. The inmates have ambitions of their own, and a message for people on the outside, don't be judgmental. Just because we're, like criminals, said 17-year-old Kai. We can do good things for people who need help. Ben, 17, agrees, I've got family that want to see me making new changes and decisions in my life, so hopefully seeing this will make them real happy. It sort of shows that we can change, and we changed for the better.